Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of my Let's Play of Card Apocalypse. Um, we are back at the library where we just um, played a um, play your own adventure game with Jacob. Um, yeah, I don't know about you, but I really like this little deviation from the main storyline and also like this reference to these play your own adventure books and also to like D&D. I mean, it's called Deadly Dungeoneers, the book. Um, so, yeah, um, I really like this and um, it's like this game is so far um, still surprising me and yeah that's what i like like that it's not uh, yeah you don't know what to expect i mean some things you know that you can expect but some other things are still very surprising so yeah and we also got some stickers um i suppose okay we can't see them yet but we have this mission stick them up um customize your cards Get some stickers, done that, and talk to Katie in the art room to learn how stickers work. I suppose you can use them to modify your cards, but um, yeah, I don't know yet. Probably you can give like your minions uh, additional abilities and stuff like that. So yeah, hey Jacob, okay, you won't interact with me anymore. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Okay, Gil has, uh, didn't want to talk to me either. I can trade with Sam, but I didn't want to do that right now. So I think we are done in the library. Okay, forgotten backpack. Yeah, let's exit. So here we are in the hallway again. I still have to decide what to do about like um, the intended prank. I still don't like my options. <laughs> um, let's check the map. The art room would be... <laughs> ah, okay, up there. So probably accessible from... don't know. Actually, can I get there if I go through the library or from the playground? Hmm. Okay, it's a nice feature to just like be able to check uh, what's happening at which location. Maybe let's check this classroom down here. Yeah, we can enter actually. So let's check it out. Hmm. Cedric is here and Gordy. Don't know Gordy. <laughs> and I can do something with Cory and I can talk to Chris and Jack, what does Jack say? I knew you would ruin everything for the rest of us. New kids are always trouble. Ah, you're annoying. You and your prejudice. Imagine being able to eat snacks for every meal. Wow. Yup, that's just my life. Hey, Corey. So I have never, so I never have to eat anything healthy. Wow, Cory, that is so cool. How do your parents let you get away with that? My dad owns sweet snack. Uh, my dad owns sweets snack foods, and he is arguing with the government guys who make the food pyramid. So my dad won't let vegetables in our house at all. Whoa! And we only have on-brand sodas in our fridge, right next to my lifetime supply of snacks. If you always have a ton of snacks, can I get some? Don't lots of snacks rot your teeth? Huh? 
Don't be so reasonable. Ask for some snacks. <laughs> no way. I only share my snacks with my friends. I'll be your friend. Really? Hmm. Okay then. But you have to prove you're really my friend and not just using me for my snacks. Just using you for your snacks? I would never do such a thing. Mega, I need you to beat Todd at Power Pets and then tell him that's for what you did. Sure, but why? He'll know why. Help Cory to get extra snacks. Find Todd and get revenge for Cory. I think I saw Todd. Was it in the library? I don't know. Let's check what's going on here. Hey, Mindy. You have seen all that super gross goo around the school, right? What is up with that? Yuck! I don't know any more than you do so far, but I'm gonna find out. Hey CJ. This ban is unbelievable. You are unbelievable. Not in the good way either. Okay. Guess you don't want to be my friend. Hey Cedric. <laughs> So let's see, does the map tell me where to go? No, there's just Sam. Okay, Todd is out in the playground. Good. So I still wonder how to get to the art room. Hmm. Ah, I can just fast travel there. That's cool. Hmm. Nice. Cornelia. The goo is so gross. And so cool. Hey, I got these stickers from some kids. Know anything about them? Do we know anything about stickers? We're the ones who came up with the idea of putting stickers on cards. You put stickers on Power Pets cards? You monsters! You don't have to do it, only if you want to have the best cards. Upgrading with stickers. The kids have devised a card upgrade system with homemade stickers. When you get stickers, you can apply them to any card in your collection. At most, one of each kind of sticker can be stuck onto each card. You can change the stats, for, uh, the stats or food cost of your minions with stickers. You can even give them a new name with rename stickers. Look out for more advanced stickers too. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Why don't you take these and give renaming your cards a try? It might be the best thing you ever did. Nice, I got quite a few rename stickers. So I wonder what this um, like enables me to do if I rename my stickers. Can I put like more than two copies of each sticker into my deck or... Okay, I think I... Do I have to do this or can I just say done? I can just say done. I think I will check that out later. <laughs> Don't really have like any great cards I could like... Um, or any cards I would like... Hmm. Or can I just like reuse the stickers? That would be interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I can rename the cards. Hmm. But 
Yeah, I will try it out later. Before I make a mistake, I can't rebuild right now. Let's see what Terra is saying. Don't speak. Inspiration is talking to me. I don't hear anything. Shh. I'm normally really nice and everything, but I have to say I really hate you. <laughs> I don't like to say mean things, but pushing Bruce, not cool jazz. Mm. Well, Bruce wasn't really nice to me either, but okay. I think an eye for an eye might not always be the best solution. And I have to say, I really like this painting of Lizzie's, so this definitely looks like Bob Ross. <laughs> don't know if you know Bob Ross, but um, yeah. It's like, um, at least around here, it's on some TV channels or a specific channel, it runs late at night. And um, yeah, Bob Ross was a person who was like painting these uh, beautiful paintings of like nature landscapes. And um, yeah, the show was called The Joy of Painting and it, yeah. He really had a joyful personality, always talking about happy little trees and stuff like that. So yeah, check it out if you don't know it. And I also like this Kelvin and Hobbes um, painting. So yeah, let's talk to Nebraska. Don't talk to me, Jess. Not you too. I was so close so close to getting the best little leaf eater this side of the school and you blew my chance carnivore not a power rise up pipsqueak card it wasn't my fault pipsqueaks are the worst anyway not a power rise up pipsqueak card i don't really get what this means but Yes, a power riser pig squeak card. It's so cute and strong and I almost had it. What happened? You happened. They won't trade with me now because they're afraid to get caught. I'm really sorry about your card. You know, you don't need to be. What? Why not? I thought you were so angry you were gonna catch fire. I was. But if you get a power riser card for me, Maybe I won't be? Okay, no problem. But how am I gonna do that? No way. Mm, let's ask how am I gonna do that? Good traits are rare now and with the game being banned. Either you get that card or I won't talk to you ever again. Mm, talk to Kirk. Sorry, my nose is itching. <laughs> um, yeah, continue. Talk to Kirk. Mm -hmm. So I get quite a few quests right now. I can also trade with Nebraska. Oh, I can't. Well, did you get my baby? No, I didn't. Uh, okay, that's a power, wise, power riser pipsqueak. <laughs> Is it even good? Let's check it out. Um, so is hiding and at the start of your turn deploy a 1-1 one, one minion with charge. Okay, yeah, that is that is pretty strong I'd say. Uh, especially like in a pipsqueak deck where you like try to get many minions even if they are weak like uh, it's the power of the masses. So yeah. Okay. No cardi, no talky. Okay. Don't like you forcing me to do this, but well, it's a quest. I might still do it. So let's see. I think I want to play now. So. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. 
going all the way up here to talk to Todd. Let's just talk first. Sorry, can't talk. Practicing. Without minions, it's more dangerous. Here we are now. Time to play us. <laughs> yeah, I can sing very well still, but the first time I recorded this, I didn't get the Nirvana reference and I just noticed it afterwards when I looked at my footage. So I re-recorded this and yeah, now we will go back to my original footage. <laughs> So let's try to defeat Todd. Todd? What's up? I challenge you to a match. Mm, there's no teachers here, so let's do it. Defeat Todd. I hope I can do it with my very basic deck, but let's see. Let's go with the Meowtons. Yeah. You're that new kid, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm already the best in the school at this game. You'll see. Alright. We already got like a charge minion. And we can use it to immediately deal some quick damage. The background music changed. Okay. So here comes the semi cat. I think I can play something every turn, which is kind of good. But here comes a defender. Cat brain dog. And defeat the defender. Okay, he put a sticker on that chameleon. So let's examine. Minions swap their attack and health at the start of their turn. Okay, so right now I can attack without getting too much damage, but next turn um, it will be much easier to deal, like uh, to like defeat it. Huh. I think I will play the Spotted Ferret and, well, we'll see with what they attack then. If the Comedian attacks my champion, I'm still good. So, yeah, I won't attack right now. Cat Brain Dog is hiding. Let's see what they do. Mm -hmm. I think my spotted ferret is like the ideal thing to defeat this uh, boneless, but yeah, I shouldn't. I should really do this because otherwise my other minions will get like, like uh, defeated right away by the boneless, so yeah. I need to get rid of this and then we play a skinless cat. Another one of those. Not ideal, but we can take care of it. So here comes the tiny head red. Um, we defeat the chameleon and next turn. Okay. Okay. I can deal with that. Here comes my tiny dog. <laughs> rabbit foot and um, I think I want to protect what I have right now so here comes a defender and a cat squared and yeah
Okay, haven't seen that card before. An enemy enemy minion is destroyed. Draw a card. Okay. Um, if we are quick, that shouldn't be a problem. But let's see if we can be quick enough to. Um, yeah. Take here. and it has charge so yeah we're good <laughs> nice so we got the revenge Cory told me to tell you that's for what you did seriously this is about the darn pen again pen <sighs> Cory got this pen in his box of Mega Mutant Crunch. It was a pretty cool pen, actually. It shot little darts and everything. One day, Cory lost it, and he said, I stole it. I didn't steal it. He yelled at me for days, so I told him I wish I had stolen it. Ever since then, he's been messing with me. What did he tell you to do? He told me, if I beat you and say, that's for what you did, I get snacks. That is a pretty sweet deal. I would have done the same thing if I were you. So if Cory asks, you'll say I beat you? Sure, as long as you promise me something. What something? Promise to take him for all he's got. I'll do my best. Return to Cory. We'll check out what okay I can trade with Elvin. What do you have? Um, and what do you want for that? Okay. So I could get two cards from Elvin. Let's see what these cards do. Hiding and ambush. Um, five three. Revenge minions trigger their effect when they are destroyed. Gain plus one maximum food. Okay. Hippo rat mouse. <laughs> Hippo rat mouse. Um, swarm and when you deploy a minion, this minion heals for one. Okay, that's pretty cool. And. Total. <laughs> right. <laughs> Defender. At the end of your turn, heal for four. Okay. Um, nice. That's a pretty cool card as well. But I think I want to maybe focus on the Meowtons for now because I kind of like them. Um, so. Yeah, um, but I'm not sure about this leech. Um, I think it's all right, but uh, what does ambush do again? Um, minions don't take all oh right retaliation damage when they attack a champion, so it's good for like getting some damage dealt to their champion. But yeah, for now I need like I rather need charge minions. So yeah, let's check what else we can get out here. There's still something happening with Todd. Why oh, is he still marked? Ah, okay. Can trade here. I want one NURBS. Okay, so I should give that to Todd after I like uh, get my reward for defeating him. Okay, another battle. Hey, are you okay? I guess. I just got into power pets, but now no one will play with me. I'll play with you. Really? Even though the game is banned? Sure. And I'll go easy too. Promise. Okay. Rewards. Minus one food. And... What does this mean? Okay. 
maybe I meaning to go easy means like I have like uh, one foot less in this battle uh, to start with but I will get Queasy the viral carrier as a reward if I just play against her let's see I'll go with my Meowth stack again so we just play cards from our hands now right yeah it's not too hard to learn just watch me Little Jessica starts playing a mutation and attacking my tiger eye. Let's see what Poof and the Killer Diva does. <laughs> After one of your minions attacks the enemy champion, that minion gains plus one attack. Mega Poof and has ambush and deals two damage to all enemy minions on transform. Wow, so that's strong for like, especially against like Pipsqueak decks. Okay, I could play my tiny dog and also attack. I mean, it will survive. So let's end this turn. <laughs> okay, a renamed card. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Charge hiding and White spores that minions gains plus one attack and ambush. Okay. Here comes my semi cat, I suppose. I mean, uh, let's check it out again. Okay, that minions gains plus one attack. Wow, this is really strong cards. Here comes my semi cat. And my tiger eye attacks the princess or I think I will attack the princess. Yeah, why not? And turn. Get stronger and stronger. Okay, I think it's time to play my Boneless, or well, I could also like take with my tiger eye here, and then I go mega, mega, then I can take care of this princess or just attack. I think I have to take care of the princess. And like, yeah, get this one out. I hope I can do this. Oh, this is getting really close. Or I'm really close to dying rather. <laughs> the game is not close at all. So this is a strong newbie. <laughs> I think I will get like the cat squared out probably or uh, I will first attack uh, uh, uh. what am I gonna do this will get me so close to being defeated don't think that's the greatest idea but like mm, yeah let's do it this way around I will just attack the champion and the cat friend dog defeats the blur and I get my cat squared out or my boneless yeah uh, game control until okay that's great okay so so they have no minions to attack with that so it's good that I didn't play my cat squared because that would have dealt more damage so let's hope this works out no Okay, I'm defeated. Damn. Ha ha ha, newbie. Wait a sec, did you just hustle me? You can try to beat me again if you want. Mm. 
Okay, so I didn't complete the mission right. Defeat little Jessica, okay. Yeah, that was not easy. I think I need better cards to defeat Jessica. Hmm. Okay, Robin, I don't know you. Whoa, a squirrel. I didn't see one, but okay. Huh. Oh, hi. What's going on? Nothing. I'm new here. I'm just finding my feet. Great. I'm not the newest kid anymore. Mm. Heh, I guess not. Anyway, what's going on at Dotsdale Elementary? Power pets is the only thing you need to know about. Nothing much. It's kind of boring. Meh. Power pets is the only thing you need to know about. That's like Diggy Wilds, but cooler, right? Oh. Way cooler. But it's banned, so be careful. Hm. Will do. Thanks for the heads up. Now the kids can get to playing real games like dodgeball. Mm. <laughs> Ugh, I'm sorry, Jess, but I can't talk to you. Kids will pick on me. Sorry. Hey, Zach. So, since no one is going to play with you because you got the game banned, can I take your card? <laughs> nope. Dear Lord, please undo this ban. I will never do anything bad ever again. Amen. Are all your prayers about this game? <laughs> It was the last copy too. No way! Mega! Hmm. Hey Ruth. You know what isn't banned? Diggy Wilds! Finally everything's coming up Ruth. Okay. No way, Nathan. That is amazing. What's amazing? I have the newest limited edition of Mega Mutant Power Magazine and it has a special make your own card section. And here's the really cool part. It totally counts as a real card. Mega! I need my parents to get me this, is this issue. Good luck. They're totally, completely sold out. Limited edition then you gotta give me your copy maybe i can just borrow yours eh i don't care <laughs> okay that sounds like pretty demanding let's ask to borrow it you have a tiny dog's chance in a meowtant layer of getting this copy for me from me Speaking of Meowtons, did you remember to turn in your permission slip for the aquarium field trip? There are Meowtons at the aquarium? Oh snap! I'll be right back! Psst, Jess, come here! Art attacks, make your own card. Talk to Nathan's friend. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, if you want that magazine bad enough, there is a way to get it. Tell me! Nathan had a flea master Nathan had a flea master renamed Caramel. It's named after his own puppy. He loved that card. Loved? He lost it to Alex. Why doesn't Nathan go get it back? He's too scared to lose again. It was pretty brutal the first time. I don't think I could win. Alex is really good and mean. 
You get that card from Alex and Nathan will trade you the magazine in an instant. Okay. So, I'm getting really a lot of quests out here. I can trade with Timmy, I, th I think. Okay, let's see. Oh, a new ability, stun. When a minion is damaged by stun, that minion cannot attack on its next turn. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay. Brutish Bulldog, we already know that one. Defender and attack equal to its health. Light Eyes, Charge and Revenge, draw a card. Okay. And a Morphing Serpinator. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will just like try to get a, an idea of what cards I can trade right now. Way to go, newbie. So I think I will play against Owen to finish up this episode and then check out more next time. Let's talk first. I knew you were going to get the, bane, the, the game banned. Then why didn't you say, uh, why didn't you do something? I did. I got my parents to buy me lots of boosters before they heard about it. That's wise. <laughs> When you're deck building, it's tempting to add a ton of tough minions that need a lot of food to be played. If you do that, you might find that you can't play any minions on your first turns. Not cool. Way uncool. Like all things in life, you must strike a balance. Good and evil, right and wrong, butter and maple syrup. Syrup, syrup, syrup. <laughs> So wise. Anyway, my point is, don't underestimate those low-strength, cheap minions. They keep your deck flexible and they can be a pain in the butt to your opponent. Balance my deck, keep my opponent busy with cheap minions. Easy! Alright, let's practice when you have a deck. Okay. I think I will go with the Meowthans again. Um, I think it's my best bet since I have more charge minions than anything else. Let's see this balanced deck, uh, this balanced deck then, Jess. If it's not balanced, it's at least going to be dramatic. Okay. Here comes my tiny dog, taking your precious. And another one. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take again. Just try to get some health off Precious quickly. Okay. Popcorn with a sticker. But I have a boneless to defeat that. Cat and hope the popcorn doesn't attack it so I can like boost it the next turn. But even if it's if it gets attacked, I can like defeat the popcorn with my champion next turn. Or I attack first. Mm. Yeah, why not? Ah, that's why not. Always have to keep in mind what those mutations might be. Well, okay. I can use this rabbit foot to at least 
do some damage. <laughs> I think doing, doing damage is like my best bet right now, so I have to be quick. But they are quicker, but maybe not for long. You're only making me angry. So I think I might just finish it next turn. Oh no. Oh yes. That was unwise. Now I win. <laughs> Boom. Boom. And... Defeated. And that's how you play the game. <laughs> nice. This worked out well. Well played, you're a strong fighter. Just make sure you use your powers for good. Always. Until next time, Jess. Defeat Owen on Tuesday. Done. Okay, and I can choose my rewards. Um, yeah, let's see what they do. Talk the Time Warper is a champion. It has Swarm. Ah, okay, so the champion gets stronger when I deploy minions, uh, until the end of turn at least. Okay, um, and Megatalk, your champions, uh, your minions have charge. All right, that can be really strong, like if you play regular minions uh, that get charge. Yeah, that can be pretty strong. Let's see what the other card does. Gloa, the radioactive boa. <laughs> when one of your minions is destroyed, heal for one. And in the mega form, at the end of your turn, gain plus one attack. Um, okay. Um, I forgot what the transforms thing on Tok the Time Warper was. Draw two cards. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna pick Tok. I like the pipsqueaks anyway, so yeah, let's grab a new champion for those. Tok, <laughs> tick. He'll take you tumbling through the rabbit hole of time. <laughs> okay. Nice. So, as I said, I think this will end this episode. We got a new champion. Um, yeah, I think now I will probably really make an in-between episode and try to figure out how the stickers work and how, um, yeah, um, uh, also like change my deck and put this new champion in and yeah, try to like improve my deck, uh, my decks with some stickers, um, especially if uh, it turns out that I can reuse them after I put them on a card. So yeah, um, we'll figure that out, ne uh, out next time and I hope you enjoyed this episode and yeah, now I'd say see you next time. Bye. <laughs>